Greetings fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. Right now we're gonna be heading over to the Glenwood and Strawberry Mansion neighborhood. We're starting out from West Kensington. We're on Pilthorpe Street. I wanna take you guys to the Glenwood and Strawberry Mansion area because during the daytime, Glenwood's usually pretty popping. Strawberry Mansion is one of the worst neighborhoods in the city based on 2020's top 10 uh, worst neighborhood crime stats list. In 2021, it is still on the list, but I think the place changed. They change every year. So we're exiting the West Kensington neighborhood, and then we're gonna stop by Glenwood first, and then we'll go to Strawberry Mansion and see what it looks like. It's 9.31 p.m. Eastern time zone, and the weather is 77 degrees. Shout out to the homie Tone. Tone and the gang. We're on Pale Thorpe and Huntingdon. We're about to cross over Huntingdon. Got a couple homies that's always out here every day, all day. Rest in peace, Surge. This is where the homie Surge passed away at not too long ago, a few months ago. Shout out to Lou Rock and Twig. We're now approaching Lehigh Avenue. This is the borderline that separates West Kensington from the Fairhill neighborhood. We got AutoZone on my left, we got LFMB. It's a beauty salon on my right hand side. La Feas Ma Bellas. <laughs> La Feas Ma Bellas, what? Yo, La Feas, does it find me ugly? And, and Bella is like prettier or something? So what that business is saying is, the ugly are more pretty or something. <laughs> That's one heck of a business name. It's like, look, come here. If you're ugly, we, we welcome you. We welcome you and we'll hook you up. We're on 2nd and Lehigh Avenue. We're Luke Oil on my right hand side. McDonald's on my left. Checkers on my left hand side. We got Amer Americana Plaza. It's on my right hand side. Owned by the Pastranas. That's an American street. We got Rite Aid on my left hand side. I'm gonna make this right hand turn here on Third Street. I'm gonna take probably, let me see, I would say Indiana. Let's take Indiana. Indiana, yeah, I think Indiana towards Glenwood. I could have just kept going up Lehigh, traveling westbound like we were, but that's too easy. Take some of these little back blocks. Right now we're traveling northbound on 3rd Street. Behind us is southbound. On my right is eastbound. On my left is westbound. We're at 3rd and Somerset. We got a dollar store on my left hand side that's closed. The little mini coop coop on my left hand side, bright yellow. We're in a residential neighborhood, two story homes. Some houses have porches, some houses don't. We got Pan American School on my right hand side uh, by Congresso. I believe it's a charter school. They made that not long ago. We got a check cash on my left hand side. We're on a third in Cambria. 200 block of Camry on my right, 300 block of Camry on my left. There was two books written about this neighborhood that you can find on the World Wide Web from actual gangsters who lived in this neighborhood. We're passing Birch Street. I say gangsters because at the time of their prime, they were in Philadelphia during the gang era, like the 80s and the early 90s. I'll, I, I think it cooled down by the 90s, but in the 80s and late 70s, yeah. It was still prevalent. We're on 3rd in Indiana. 
I think one book is called Third in Indiana and the other one is called Fourth in Indiana. Yeah, my two different gentlemen who lived um, in, in this neighborhood and lived pretty rough lifestyles passing Oriana Street. One's a pastor and the other one, I don't know what he's doing as an occupation. I only read one of the books. I didn't learn about the second book until I was doing a little Google search and learned that there was actually a whole other book written about this neighborhood too. Passing forth in Indiana. We got a police camera on my left hand side, up top. Another police camera right here. See, there's police cameras right here on my left hand side. They're up. And this is a very busy corner. So that doesn't really add up to me. It doesn't make sense. It's like you got the police cameras on very busy corners, very busy areas with obvious activity. Look at this, another police camera right here on this left-hand side, up next to the 5th Street sign. The white camera, you see it? That don't make sense. I guess they basically, what, what do you think those cameras are for? For staking out, maybe? Come on, Jeep, what are you going to do? Jeep was about to keep going. We just passed 5th and Clearfield. Look at this wheel right here on my left-hand side. This thing is folded back. You see it? Another police camera on my left-hand side, a Reese. So they got police cameras all up and down Indiana. Mainly on the most trouble spots. What are you doing, dude? Passing Fairhill. And then I got a car behind me speeding. And then I got the car on my left hand side. You know what I mean? That was about to come into the intersection. Passing 6th Street. And look, we got these kids right here that just walk themselves right into oncoming traffic. Yet the vehicle behind me is still trying to go above 25 miles an hour. Speed limit 25. We're passing Marshall Street. I'm gonna let this vehicle go by because I don't like people dictating the speed that I go on the tour. I'm gonna pull over right here. Yeah, he's really like tailing me rather than just relaxing or making a turn. Franklin in Indiana. We got a bar, cold beer spot on my right hand side. You'll see plenty of those in the hood. You'll see more of those in the hood than you'll see libraries. That's the sad truth. You'll see more uh, beer spots in the hood than you'll see solid bars. That's the sad truth. We're passing 8th in Indiana. You'll see more cold beer spots and you'll see bookstores, then you'll see playgrounds, then you'll see community centers and more. That's a shame. We're in Nathan, Indiana. It's 76 degrees right now. I think when we started this, it was like 78, right? Something like that. We're passing the cemetery on my left hand side. just past Percy and a block ago was 9th Street. We're now approaching Germantown Ave. Now once we cross over Germantown, we'll be in the Glenwood neighborhood. Because if we run up Germantown straight up and make a left on Glenwood, that's the Glenwood neighborhood. So this technically right here is the Glenwood neighborhood. Got another vehicle behind me. Pressed on time. If I see somebody slow in front of me, I'll just chill right behind them too. We're at 11th in Indiana. We got a little cat on my left hand side. See that white cat? Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. What's up, kitty? We're passing Marvin Street. left-hand turn on 12th in Indiana. And they turn away from me. You can't win, can you? All right, we're allowing these people right here in front of us to park. All right, then. 
go to Siena. vehicle behind me we're passing three-story homes with porches on my left and on my right side those aren't so common in philly that's why i'm pointing them out there are three-story houses with porches in different areas but it's not like that the, the the norm where let me move out of this vehicle's way because this vehicle is like coming so close to actually hitting me in north carolina no lights on, no no tail lights, nothing. We're passing William Street. That goes to show you from North Carolina, they was coming so close to actually about to tap my bumper. Look at it, slowly turning. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on 12th and Somerset. Now we're gonna turn right behind them. Street. I think I think yesterday I saw General Reezy's uh, mo memorial. It was a Philadelphia rapper, an underground rapper. His memorial is not far from here. It's like two minutes away, three minutes away, and it's packed with tons and tons of like Hennessy bottles, all types of bottles of, of liquor and alcohol. Let's make this left hand turn on Park Ave. Let me make this left hand turn. Passing Seltzer Street. We're approaching Silver Street. 1300 block of silver on my left, 1400 block of silver on my right. Look at this uh, vehicle right here on my left hand side. This is an El Camino. Look at the two pipes that come out of the back of the bed. You see it? That is so decent. That reminds me of like some Twisted Metal stuff. Twisted Metal was a video game for PlayStation 1. A real classic video game, good video game. And they'll make them like they used to. All right, let me uh, roll down this uh, window because. <laughs> Yo, I don't know how they be doing it with 5%. This is like 20%, and this is like a little much for, for me. <laughs> That's how you can tell that I aged. Because when I was young, I used to drive around with a tent. My last tinted vehicle, I peeled off the tent like two years ago. Yep, I just said, man, bump that. But for this vehicle, I think it works out well. Black on black on black on black on black on black. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't, you know, doesn't bother me. We just passed 13th Street. I'm on 13th for Lehigh. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on 12th Street. I'm gonna probably take you guys by the General Reezy Memorial. He was gunned down a couple years ago, where I'm about to take you guys at. We're at 12th and Lehigh Avenue. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on 12th Street. Oh man, what's up with these tailgaters, bruh? That's an Oakdale. Thank you, he, he pulled over. Sheesh, passing Tucker Street. I'm doing 15, 20 miles an hour. If I go any faster, somebody's gonna come through the screen on YouTube and ring my neck. <laughs> we be having the World Wide Web Police. They be like, Tool, you're going too fast. We're at 12 for hunting them. All right, so. There's usually cops always out here in the corner. Passing Hazard Street. Now we're passing Surgeon Street. I'm going to go up another block, and then we're going to make a right, and then we should see the memorial that I'm talking about. Passing Firth Street. The reason why I'm taking you guys to it is because we're at Cumberland. There's cops right there on my right-hand side. You see them? Station. We're next to the projects. On my left-hand side is the projects. We have two tall project complexes and the playground and the basketball court on my left. But I've spoken about this in previous tours, about how in Philly, when you pass away, they'll put like uh, 
teddy bears, candles, and they'll even put bottles. Like they'll sit there and at the place you passed away at, there's cops right here on my left hand side station too. Y'all can't see them, but yeah, there's cops station there. But what they'll do is they'll drink the bottle right there where you, you know, where gun, not you, but where the person was gunned down at. We passed in Fawn Street. His memorial's coming up right up here. Past the 13th. It's on Park Ave. We got some PHA um, housing on my left hand side. We're passing Clarion Street. Clarion's actually a pretty good name brand for car audio. Wow, there we go. Right here on my right hand side, I'm gonna make this right hand turn. Right here on my left, you see on my left, see all them candles? There's actually people out here that's probably holding it down for him. See this dude sitting on top of his roof? You never know if that's family or friends or somebody that was affiliated with him. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Boston Street. Yeah, but I don't know if you guys got a chance to see it, but if you buffer the video back some and pause it right there on the left-hand side of the step, there was a good 30 bottles. Not to over exaggerate, probably a good 30 bottles. And I've been driving past that memorial for the last couple of years and it's been maintaining. Not all memorials been like maintained for a long period of time. We're on Broad Street. All right, so I think that I am going to go left. I'm gonna go left on Broad and then I'm gonna go right. Careful because cars are ruthless. The way they drive a Philly is every man for themselves. <laughs> See, look at that beeping at him. Like he, he didn't care. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna be the good Samaritan here. Megan is right on York. I feel like my window is a little dirty. What do you think? I feel like there was like a little dusty. Sorry, guys. I felt like once I saw the light hit him, they got super dusty. Now we're passing Carlisle. So we're in the Glenwood neighborhood. Uh, to be completely honest with you, so this is on the west half of Broad Street. It's not in West Philly. It's in north. It's not even in northwest. It's just um, when you travel Broad Street, which would be the center, it is on the northwestern half of Broad Street, right? Basically, Broad has an east and a west. We just came from the east side. Um, we're on the west side of Broad Street. Glenwood, from what I've noticed, we're passing 15th Street, has some of the livest ambience. Uh, on most of the Glenwood tours that I've done, there's always people out, there's groups of people everywhere. Passing Sydenham. Yeah, so this is actually one of the, the lit areas around here. That's a 16th in New York. Look, on my left hand side, we got a whole bunch of people out there. So they, they grilling and they cooking out. We got the new Corvette on my left hand side. Somebody balling on a budget over here. They came out and they chilling at the cookout with their new vet. Chadwick. Okay, let's make this right hand turn on Chadwick. Chadwick, the 2400 block of Chadwick. I already feel the ambience. There's people out, there's people listening to the music, people walking, people chilling in, in, on, on their steps, chilling in the corners. The thing is that it's so dark, you're not gonna be able to really take in the detail do my best to describe what I'm seeing. For example, this Chinese store right here is popping. You got like six people on my right, you got another four or five people on my left, give or take. And as we drive through the block, you're gonna see that, the ambience. Yeah, you guys. Somebody's just walking in the middle of the street. this 
young woman on my left hand side walking with a backpack. We got people sitting on my right hand side. And we're approaching another corner where a whole bunch of people hanging out. I think they're also vending a product here. Yeah, they're selling something here. Oh man, the street's messed up. I hate driving over messed up streets. They scraped the street. So since they scraped it, one-sided parking so it sucks you know when you got no parking you say there's like 40 or so cars on the block or i should say 40 or so houses there can't be 40 or so cars they won't all fit we're approaching lehigh avenue what happens if i turn on my high beams Oh, y'all get the the supreme preem. <laughs> y'all got the bling bling every time I come around the city. Bling bling. Y'all got the bright lights on them. Shine bright like a diamond. Ooh, shine bright like a diamond. Let's make this left on 17th Street. So Strawberry Mansion straight ahead. If we would have kept on going uh, westbound on Lehigh, but let's travel through this area for a little bit more. I turn on the lights, maybe you guys can see a little bit more. We got three story homes on my right, three story homes on my left. The three story homes on my right have some porches. Passing the number two bus stop. We got this street that's broken up. We're gonna cross right over it. Gotta be careful. We got Lilla Grocery on my left hand side. Ouch. Ouch. Police are straight up top. Speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Heed the speed. Passing Cumberland. You got people out and about walking. She was jamming. <laughs> She had her hands in the air. Wave around like you just don't care. We're now approaching York Street. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on York Street. This is the borderline of the Glenwood neighborhood. Let's make this right hand turn. Ouch, oh, ouch, ouch. Jesus, them phones are treacherous. All right, so on my left and on my right, those blue signs. You can see, see the blue sign on my right? See the blue sign on my left? You're gonna see a bunch of those blue signs. Those blue signs are no dumping signs. But yeah, you'll see a bunch of dumping. For real, for real. street art paintings that they stick on the wall with uh, glue. I think they do half the work at home. It was just paints. I think they do half the work at home, or majority of the work, and then they go to a wall and they have like some adhesive glue, and they basically stick it to a wall, to a billboard, to wood, to whatever. We're gonna start making our way to the Strawberry Mansion neighborhood. Cause although I'm sure there's some ambience that we can find in this neighborhood, I do want to try to divide the, the duration up evenly. We spent the first half of the tour um, on the brink of Glenwood. Let me make this right hand turn. And then we're gonna spend the second half of the tour in Strawberry Mansion. We got Eggers 
place on my left hand side. The lady was over there waving her, her hand. She was waving. I wonder if she was a supporter. <laughs> We're on 18th and Cumberland. Yeah, that'd be cool. And she was like, that was me waving, silly. <laughs> I'd be like, where? Hit that thumbs up button. We're approaching Huntingdon. We're at the intersection of 18th and Huntingdon. We got Jocelyn Grocery on my left hand side. Let's make this left hand turn on Glenwood Ave. sun came up, we were like, all right, y'all, good night, good, good night, peace, good night, have a good night, sleep, and we all went in, we all caught some sleep to like, you know, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, I say 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, because I was an early bird, so I was still going to sleep at 6, and I wake up 3, 4 hours later, because I feel like I was wasting my day when I was sleeping, but I had some friends that, they would sleep to 3, 4, because it was super duper tired, got Common Street Mini Market on my left, Overgrown weeds on my left hand side. Potholes right here. Ouch. Got some homies in the middle of the street holding a conversation. Potholes are crazy. Ouch. Potholes are crazy. Potholes are crazy. Ouch. Ouch. I think the high beams helped out a little bit. High beams provided a little bit of, uh, you know, more more light, more detail. All right, we're gonna make this right hand turn. And now we're gonna continue heading our way to Strawberry Mansion. I think that was fair. Let's see what Strawberry Mansion looks like. Now, I'm not going to say Strawberry Mansion is as lit as Glenwood at night. Because I understand that Strawberry Mansion has a, a higher crime rate than Glenwood. We're in the Glenwood neighborhood right now. Strawberry Mansion is only like a minute away. But, believe it or not, even being that close, crime is a little bit more prevalent in one neighborhood versus the other. I'm not saying Glenwood is crime free because people get shot around here too. That's on 20th Street. But yeah. What I am saying is that we're passing Woodstock. Is that um, I can't promise you there's going to be a lot of people outside in Strawberry Mansion at night, but we'll see. I don't see no reason why there shouldn't be. But knowing the crime rate, people probably just stay inside and bump that. We're on 21st of York. Street. We're gonna allow this vehicle. 
good to go because they're already halfway in the street. It's an older female, short hair, and she got big old hoop earrings in the pickup truck. Oh, snap, you gonna take me scrapping, lady? <laughs> she got a tow hitch and everything. F-150s, very, very, very popular uh, pickup truck. There's a lot of people who have F-150s. F-150s, F-250s, F-350s, 450s, 550s, 650s, and 550s are like, they're monsters. I think once I seen a 750, was it 650 or 750? I don't know, but it was a monster. It was huge. And that was designed for like pulling like other, like a SEPTA bus. You know what I mean? Passing Glenwood Ave. Now we're entering the Strawberry Mansion neighborhood. Now Strawberry Mansion, uh, once had a mansion in it. I don't know, I think it's still in here. Is the Strawberry Mansion, mansion still in the neighborhood? Or did they move it? I know they be moving stuff. Yeah, they be moving it. They'll pick something up brick by brick and they'll move it over. Especially back in the day. But Strawberry Mansion is recently most notable related to the movie uh, Concrete Cowboys. It was shot in this neighborhood, Strawberry Mansion. The story was based on a horse stable in this neighborhood, the Fletcher Street Cowboys. It's actually like two, three minutes from where we're at right now. I've did tours in the area before, but I'm not gonna focus on that this second. What I wanna try to focus on is get into some ambience. We'll probably go to like 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th Street and see what that looks like. I even turned off the air for the duration of this tour. Even though it is a little warm, I turned off the air so that y'all can hear me. And plus the cold air tends to put me to sleep. Cold air knocks me out. Between cold air and darkness, what? That's a recipe for a... <laughs> I love the cold, yo. I love the cold. That's my weak spot. You know how everybody got, got a weak spot? That's one of my weak spots. Cold weather. Or just cold in general. It's the best weather to sleep in. That's just my personal opinion. Some people can't sleep in the cold. I don't mind sleeping in the cold. In my opinion, the way I describe it is, in the summer, no matter how many clothes you take off, if it's hot, it's hot. If you ain't got an AC, you burn it up, you sweating. You can't peel off your skin. You could be butt naked and still sweat. But in the sun, in, in the winter, when it's freezing cold, all you gotta do is layer up. Layer, 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 layer. Put on seven to eight layers with some blankets, with some quilts and all that, and you warm up. If you get too hot, you take them off and vice versa. So I would rather it be cold than be warm. Like, I'm more of a cold season type of person. And that's crazy, because I was born in May, so I was born in what, like damn near the summer. I was born in the warm season but I love the cool season. Then you got people who were born in the cool season in like December, November, October, and they love the summer. Weird, right? We're at 26th Street. We got police station on my right hand side. I got these high beams on. Hopefully they don't pull me over for the high beams. That's happened to me once. I had a police officer say, are you blind? I said, well, ma'am, quite frankly, I actually do have <laughs> She said, are you telling me that you can't see right now? Well, I mean, I had cat cataracts, so like, come on, chill, lady, like, relax. We're at 27th for York Street. Hmm, should I make it right here? Should I go up? I think go up to like Hollywood. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to like Hollywood. There's a street up here called Hollywood Street. A mural on my right hand side. Yeah, but this tent puts me right to sleep. <laughs> it knocks me out, yo, the cool weather. We're at 28th in York. I might as well have brought a pillow and go nap nap. Go night night. Tune go night night, middle of the tour. 
Y'all be watching the tour and then I'll be like, <sighs> say nothing. <laughs> And go right into a pole, yo. Passing the 2400 block of Dover. That'd be crazy, right? We're at 29th in York. All right, cool. This next little perimeter right here, I think I'm going to zigzag around here. Yeah, this is a good little area to zigzag around. We're still in Stormy Mansion where we were just at now, but a lot of the blocks that I just passed were more empty. These blocks over here are a little bit more filled. Let's make this right on Hollywood Street, the 2400 block of Hollywood Street. And by the looks of it, it looks a lot brighter too. Oh yeah, what? It looks way brighter if you ask me. It looks like it has more um, natural light going on with all of the, the street poles. We got people sitting out here on my left chit-chatting. She's drinking something, probably coffee or tea or something. What's up? I sell my hair. <laughs> a million dollars. A million dollars, cold hard cash. I cut it off and I mail it to anybody who wants it. <laughs> That's a hustle, right? Look, 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 look at the cat in the street. Yo, the cat was running and the cat had like, like, um, what you call them? The eyes. The eyes were super duper bright. They're like two beady beads running. You ever f put a flashlight inside a cat's eyes? It's like two marbles, two glowing marbles running in the street. Yo, that's a hustle, yo. The only person that will pay for my hair and pay that type of money is all oh, these cops behind us. What are they up to? Are oh, they about to tow a vehicle? Um, let's make this left a word away. The only person that I think that would be really interested in in doing that is um I think like maybe a millionaire with like a fetish, like a hair fetish. I think that'll probably be you know the only person that'll spend a million dollars on some hair. I figure with a million dollars, I could like invest and flip, you know what I mean? I could make make that back and just just let my hair grow. <laughs> Start back again. But that's hypothetically speaking. There ain't nobody in their right mind that's gonna buy my hair for a million dollars. But it's cool to dream. Strawberry Mansion neighborhood is right next to Allegheny West neighborhood. Allegheny West is also one of those rough neighborhoods. Let me make this right hand turn. Just exit in Myrtlewood. Myrtlewood sounds like a Pokemon character. <laughs> it makes me think of Squirtle. Myrtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle! Char, Charmander. <laughs> 30th Street, 2400 block of 30th on my right, 2200 block of 30th on my left. 
no dumping sign blue right there and look at all that dumping right next to the no dumping sign I'm telling you those signs aren't effective they need to have like some top secret laser shooting technology once you drop bags near that sign it just zaps you <laughs> i bet you people won't be throwing trash no more 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 cat right here in the middle of the street let the cat cross we got trash on my left hand side we got a no parking sign that's crushed wow that's an enormous pile of trash that all looks like like residential trash too. That, that that don't even look like illegal dumping. That just looks like everybody from the block took all their bags and walked into the corner. <laughs> yeah, we got some nice plantation right here on my left. I'm not sure if they're official or if they're you know fake plants. You got people who live in these type of um, homes too that grow their own vegetables and stuff out all back. Cause I know like two or three people that they grow their own peppers and things like that out back. And you know, I'm sure the rain isn't the healthiest rain to be watering the plants with, but they're still able to grow. I'm sorry guys, I have to give in. I don't know, y'all say too, but don't say you're sorry. Just stay cool. I don't know, it's it's a habit of nature. My papa always taught me to say sorry. I don't know. When I was a kid, I would say no thank you. I would say thank you. I would say sorry. I would say my apologies. I apologize. Things like that. It looks like they're gutting the house right there in front of us. And they removed the windows. They started breaking up the top. They got that dumpster there. Somebody probably bought it, and or the city's probably demolishing it. A demo crew's probably coming in to take it down. It probably became a, a safety risk, safety hazard to the ones who walk by it daily. We just exited the 3000 block of Oakdale. The next block is 2900 block of Oakdale. And I'm gonna make this right hand turn right here. PPA right there in front of us. I told you they towed somebody's car. Look at that, 30th of Huntington. That's that car that I just told you. Oh, the police are right here. Go ahead, officer. Thank you, sir. The cop let me go by. He kept going cool beans. Approaching Cumberland. We got Alejandro grocery on my right. Of course, they're closed. Now, that car they must have impounded in front of us, they got impounded for one of three reasons no license, no registration, and or expired registration, and no insurance. Any one of those three reasons in Philadelphia will get your car impounded. The only way they won't impound your car is if you have no inspection or expired inspection. All they'll do is they'll give you a ticket or a court date. So you must go and prove that you got your car and inspect it. Now you're gonna have to find no, 30th in York. But We ain't got no license. 
license, no insurance, or your car's not registered, you're in trouble. Or, or the combination of any one of those. Just one of them by themselves will get your car impounded. It's called the Live Stop Program. Passing Gordon Street. storage bin on my left hand side all that building on my left hand side future home of strawberry mansion learning center on my left they were going to be making strawberry mansion learning center let me show you we're at 30th from fletcher street Turn on Susquehanna, we're at 30th in Susquehanna. Susquehanna Avenue. But in a sense, this, this gives you an idea why a neighborhood like this could be potentially dangerous. Because if you're walking through the block at night, nobody sees you, and somebody runs up on you, whether they're, you know, it's a stick up or they're just up to mischievous deeds. We're at 31st and Susquehanna, but there'll be no witnesses, really. Nobody to help you. If you get, you know, God forbid, you get shot or stabbed or something, you're left out here. If you don't make it to a hospital, you're in trouble. Yeah, you're in trouble. On my left-hand side, this school, I believe this school is the new, there's another cop on my left parked up. Passing Nevada Street. I believe the school is um, the new Strawberry Mansion, if I'm correct. We got EKG auto sales on my right. They do auto repair, towing, collision, wheel alignment, inspection and emissions, air conditioning, and more. It's one of those official inspection stations. said it varies from block to block so you got people out here at the beer spot on my right he got the little system on his scooter chilling all right so i'm gonna put up the window because i don't want that music i don't know if y'all heard that music but let me turn the air I think about the air is it knocks me out because we sleep. I can't sleep in the heat. Like in the real hot, 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 hot. It's so hard. I sweat up a storm, I toss, a turn, and it'd be bad. 
Huntingdon, 31st of Huntingdon. But I guess on the bright side, if you want to keep me up, then just have the heat bumping. <laughs> Two-story homes on my right, two-story homes on my left. The ones on my left got porches. The ones on my right do not have porches. Passing Oakdale Street. Now we're approaching Lehigh Avenue. I think we're going to take Fletcher Street down, and uh, I'll probably pass by the little stable. We're at 31st and Lehigh. We got a cemetery in front of us. Lehigh is the borderline from Strawberry Mansion to the Allegheny West Hood. Right in front of us, if you cross over Lehigh, you'll work your way to the Allegheny West Hood. Lehigh Avenue separates multiple neighborhoods. For example, Lehigh Avenue separates Old Richmond from Port Richmond. It separates East Kensington and West Kensington from North Kensington and Fairhill. It separates uh, Fairhill and Glenwood it separates Story Mansion and Allegheny West we're passing Napa Street Sleeping at the intersection of 33rd and Huntington in the Strawberry Mansion neighborhood. We got 33rd Food Market on my left, 33rd Cleaner Laundry Man on my left, and some residential homes on my right. Uh, we're now approaching Surgeon. Seven, the 39 and the 49 bus stop. Ready for 
31st and 31st and Dolph. interesting when I was learning about Camden you know, did, you know several tours in Camden one of the things that I was learning about was that Camden had a program kind of like in Puerto Rico past the 27th Street that they got technology that can hear the gunshot and can pinpoint it to where you shot it from so they can head to that neighborhood Yep. Yep. Cannon got that technology. So if, you, if there's a shootout, and, and crime dramatically went down in Cannon compared to past years for the size of the city that it's in, crime went down. We passed the 26th and Dolphin. Wonder if it had to do with um, that program I'm talking about. The mysterious deeds don't care about the news and they ain't in tune with none of that. That'd be a wise gangster. <laughs> Could you imagine somebody about to commit a crime like, oh, the weather said that it's going to be 55 degrees today, cloudy and rainstorms. Make sure you bring your umbrella. <laughs> like, you know, they, they don't care about that. Let's make this right hand turn. Try to show you guys. <laughs> Says the eye. On my right hand side is the horse stable, right? Yeah, I believe so. Make sure I'm not off. Yeah, right here, Fletcher. So I was able to bring you, you see? I wasn't completely off, and we made it in time. So on my left hand side is the horse stable for the Fletcher Street Cowboys. Is there any horses outside? Or did they take them all in? No, I think they took them all in. Looks like they took them all in. On the left hand side. But this is where they shot the movie at, right here. 26 and Fletcher. That movie came out on, on Netflix, on HBO. Look at, they got the hay on my left hand side. On my right hand side is the indoor uh, stables, the hood stable. There's a whole group of homies on my right hand side hanging out. Probably related to that little group that raises the horses. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately we reached our one hour mark. I want to say thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. This is it for today's tour. If you're new to the channel, I usually try to keep the tours one hour long. Turn your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released to this channel. Remember, we got an e-scooter giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a brand new GoTrax e-scooter when the YouTube channel Tune215 reaches 50,000 subscribers and the second YouTube channel Tune B Chilling reaches 1,000 subscribers. That's a total of 51,000 subscribers amongst both channels in order for me to start this giveaway. I'm going to put a link on one of the two channels that's the secret there. That's why you need to subscribe to both channels because you don't know which channel I'm gonna post the link on. And it's gonna be a green giveaway link giving you guys, the viewer, seven days to enter the giveaway. So at the end of day seven, I'll be doing a live drawing seeing who won the free e-scooter. This is your homeboy Tune. 
show some love tune dollars tune ski tunism bad tune tuner y'all know how i do y'all know the rest man right now y'all can call me strawberry mansion tune <laughs> y'all can call me a uh, 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 snorry snore tune snorlax tune mr snore snore <laughs> say nah but this is tune mr tune dollars toony magoony toony califragilistic and i'm tuning out